Today I'm reviewing a desktop recording software called BerryCast. As you can see, this is BerryCast and this is a great alternative to Loom. Now I've had Loom before, as you can see, this is my Loom account. I created over 400 videos, but recently they came out with a limit of 100 videos so that I had to pay to record more videos. That's when I bumped into BerryCast and honestly, I'm very happy that I bumped to it, into it because I really, really like this software. So if you're searching for a desktop recording software, then I highly recommend you to check out BerryCast yourself. There's a free trial also, and there's a link below my video where you can get BerryCast uh, also. So if you want to sponsor me, then go ahead and click the link below this video. Uh, but basically, let me show you why I like BerryCast so much. So when you install BerryCast on your computer, this is a window that you will see. Now, I have to say that if you see this video a few weeks later, there will also be a Chrome extension. They already created it and it's waiting for approval. So just like with Loom, BerryCast will also have a Chrome application. Right now, I have the desktop version installed on my computer, which pops up this window. This is the only thing that you'll see and it has your videos. So when I click on videos, it's going to bring you your account with all your videos in it. So I'm going to show you exactly what it is in a second. But first, let me show you how it works. So when I click on record, this is what you will see. It immediately asks you to click and drag or you select a recording area. Now, one of the things I really, really like about BerryCast is that you can drag a certain part of the window like this and this is the part that's going to be recorded. And I really like this because sometimes I want to hide URLs and other stuff that's not important. And I just want to record a screen like this. So that's one of the great benefits to me personally that I really like about BerryCast. Now, look what happens when I uh, unselect my mouse. It says three, two, one, boom. And it starts recording right now. Right now, it's already recording my screen. And um, when I had to do this with Loom, I always had to go to the menu. I had to put off my camera. I had to put off the little picture at the bottom, etc. And what I personally like most about BerryCast is the speed, how, uh, how well it performs. So you have a few options like here. You can put the camera on. As you can see, there I am. Hello. And what you can do is you can also go full screen with the camera like you're seeing right here. And you can go back here. Now, they don't have a, a round uh, version of this of this um, webcam that you see right here. They're working on it. So people say, okay, I want to have a round one. Personally, I like this one. You can switch like this between, or you can simply put the camera off and then you're recording without the camera. I like the smoothness of this. Also, you could enable or disable your microphone as you can see in here. So now it's recording with my mic and now it's not recording my mic. And also when you want to have, you have something to download or something that takes time, you simply pause the video. And once you've done with downloading your stuff, you can say, okay, I resume my video and it starts recording again. And then once you're done, you simply click on done and your video is being uploaded. Now this goes very, very fast to BerryCast. And as you can see here, it's already there. I can already share my link um, and I can rename it. So this is my demo video. And then what I can do with BerryCast, I can send this to someone else. So let's say I want to have this to this person. I hit enter and I can enter multiple email addresses and I can send a message. Hey, check out my video for example. And then I can send this to this person that receiving this link and can watch my video. Another alternative is simply copy this link and I can share this link with other people so they can check out this video. And one other option, which I also really like is that it has password protection. So I can say one, two, three, one, two, three, and now I can set my password, and it's now password protected. So when I open this link in a new window, so let's say I'm opening a completely new window here and I put this link in here, it's going to ask me for a password. So now it's password protected. I do one, two, three, and now my video is unlocked and now I can watch this video in here and people can also comment on my video. Now that brings me to the next thing that when you go to this menu and you go to your videos, you can also go to this video. So here is your video stored. What you can do is you can also reply with a video to your own video. So you can record a video like this. So let's say I want to 
I want to record this video. I can also say create a full screen recording. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Three, two, one, and boom, it's going to record. And as you can see, now my screen is being recorded. And once I'm done, I click on done and then my video is done and it's being applied as a, a reply to this specific video. So when I go to my videos again and I click this video, it should have a reply here. Do you see that? This is a video reply on my first video. I think it's pretty cool. Now, one of the things I like most is the quickness, how fast Barrycast works. And let me show you what I mean by that. So when I go to my general settings, you have a few settings in here. And let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it better. So here you got comments to my video. So you could put that on uh, or off notifications. You could do desktop notifications and then you could launch your Berrycast on the startup, show a watermark on your videos. And here you can choose your devices like your camera and your microphone. But what I really like is this part. It has hot keys. So start recording, Alt Command R. Pause or resume the recording, Alt Command P or complete the recurrent recording, Alt Command D, or hide or show the control bar while recording, Alt Command C. So let me get out of this window and let me show you how that works. Let me zoom out here again. When I want to record a video, I simply do the shortcuts. Boom, look what happens. It automatically brings this screen up and I can start recording. I can say, okay, I'm selecting this screen. Boom, and it starts recording again, two, one, zero. Now, now I'm recording the screen. Now, a lot of times when you're just starting out, you think, ah, oh, I need to redo this video. Again, here, the speed of Berrycast is very fast. What you can do is you can simply click on start over and boom, your previous video is deleted. And now it's recording again. Made a mistake again, want to record again, simply hit on start over, three, two, one, and it's recording again. So for example, you want to start with your webcam. You say, okay, I'm going to enable my webcam. I'm going to do this full screen like this, and I'm going to start over three, two, one, and then it starts recording your webcam again, and then you can make your webcam smaller, and then you stop your video or pause your video and you click done. Another thing, the last one that I'm going to mention is when I say start over, it says three, two, one, and then you decide, oh, I don't want to record anything at all. You can simply hit this trash button, boom, and you're done. And I think this works really, really fast. And this is what I personally like. So the, the things I like most is that I can select a part of my screen and that I can work really fast. I just simply hit those three buttons and I can start recording immediately. And let me see if there's more to say. So here you can go to your videos when you click on your videos. Oh yeah. One more thing to mention is that your videos will be listed in here, as you can see here. So right now I have one video, but you can also create folders in here, as you can see. So let me zoom into the screen again so that you can see it better. So here you have quick videos. That's a folder that I created. When I click on quick videos, you can see I already have five videos in here. So it has a structured folder. Uh, structured folders where you can add your videos in. This is a tutorial video. And what you can do is you can simply, uh, you can delete these folders also. So let's say I'm going to create a new folder and I'm call it Berrycam. I'm going to call this Berrycam. And I can simply drag this into Berrycam. And now my video is stored in this folder, as you can see. So it works pretty fast. Uh, it's very easy, not much to explain right now. Uh, the general settings, we went over this. Uh, and that's basically what Berrycast is. So yeah, if you ask me personally what I like better, I like Berrycast better um, because it works crazy fast. One thing I want to, uh, what I'm really missing is that I cannot see when people watch my videos. That's one thing that I certainly liked about Loom is that when somebody watched your video, you get a notification on email. So I already reached out to Berrycast. I said that to them and they're taking this in consideration and they listen to the feedback of the user. So they're really developing this program. Um, and yeah, that's basically what Berrycast is. So again, if you're interested, there's a link below this video where you can get Berrycast. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future product reviews. And uh, again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.